back to my YouTube channel. This is your teacher Aubrey on your screen. So for today's video, meron na naman tayong bagong lesson at ang lesson ito ay yung hmm, akala nyo mahirap. Pero hindi, intindihin nyo lang. So, our lesson for today is on the linear equations and inequalities in one variable. So, ito na yung lesson na magpa-find ka lang ng value ng x mo. <laughs> hindi. In this lesson, dito ka na magpa-find ng values ng isang variable, hindi lang x. Yung variable pwede rin y, pwede rin a, b, c, kaya huwag e meron dyan. Keep on watching for your bonus answers. Nga pala, sa mga nagtatanong, oh, bakit wala naman po kayong binigay na bonus sa inyong vlog? Sabi mo sa huli, Anak, makinig ka at pag-aralan mo yung mga examples. Malay mo yung mga examples ko, yun na yung bonus ko, di ba? Kasi yun yung ginagawa ko minsan yung mga bonus nasa mga examples ko. So watch and learn. So, this is our lesson for this week. We have the linear equations and inequalities in one variable. We are now in lesson 7. Take note, this is the second to the last lesson for the second quarter. And this is our module of the week. So, the first lesson that we are going to have is on the mathematical expressions, equations, and inequalities. In here, we will differentiate the three. So, ano nga ba yung pinagkaiba ng expressions sa equations at sa inequalities? So, when we say expressions, it is a phrase that consists of variables or constants or combinations of numerical and literal coefficients. On the other hand, equation is a sentence that states two expressions are equal. And when we say inequalities, it is a statement whose two sides are separated by either of the inequality symbols greater than, lesser than, greater than or equal to, lesser than or equal to, or unequal sign. So, these are the signs. Yung expression, wala siyang sign. Yung equation, ito yung sign niya. At yung inequality, ayan. An example of an expression is 2x plus 3. Pag naging equation na siya, ganyan na siya. May equal sign. So, 2x plus 3 equals 8. Assuming lang yan na may 8. While, when you say inequalities, pwede siyang maging ganyan. 2x plus 3 is lesser than 8. So, let's have again another example. For expressions, we have y squared plus y minus 6. At pag naging equation na siya, syempre, may equal sign. At kung inequalities, ganyan naman. Any symbol, basta nandyan sa inequality signs. So, let's try this one. Identify each item as an expression, equation, or inequality. Write your answer in the answer column. So, let's try this. Number 1. 7w plus 8 plus 6w minus 3. Wala kang nakikitang equal sign or wala kang nakikitang inequality sign. So, that is an example of an expression. Number 2, you can see that there is an inequality sign there. So, it is inequality. In number 3, you can see equal sign. Therefore, it is an equation. In number 4, there are no symbols, so expression yan. Number 5, equation. Number 6, inequality. Number 7 is just 7, so it is an expression. Number 8, identity equation, so obviously equation siya. Number 9, inequality and number 10 another inequality now let's proceed to the next lesson the solution of linear equation in one variable 
So, take note of the properties of inequality. Tignan nyo na lang yung mga examples niya sa inyong mga modules. Madali lang intindihin yan kasi gagamitin natin yan sa pag-solve ng solutions ng equation. To solve an equation means to find its solutions or roots or the values that will satisfy it. The solution set of an equation is the set that contains the solutions or roots of the equation. The variable in the equation represents the unknown. An equation for which no value can make the equation true is said to have no solution. So let's have examples. Example number 1 is x equals 4 plus 3. So obviously, 4 plus 3 is 7. Therefore, that is now your final answer. The value for the x is 7. Example number 2, 5x equals 20. So as much as possible, tanggalin natin yung mga numerical coefficients dito sa term na to. Dapat variable lang yung matira, yung x lang yung matira. So ang gagawin natin, i-apply natin yung division property of equality wherein you are going to divide each side to the number or the numerical coefficient which is 5. So that we can cancel that one. So, we have x equals 4. 20 divided by 5 is 4, therefore, that is now your final answer. So, the third example is 2x minus 8 equals 2. So, I have a shortcut in here, but still, the addition property of equality is still applied. But this is a shortcut. So, ang ginagawa ko is sinisulat ko muna yung equal sign. At lahat ng may variable or lahat ng may letters sa left side ng equal sign at lahat ng constant ay sa right side ng equal sign. So, yung 2x na nasa left na dati ay dyan lang siya sa left. Yung 2 na nandito sa right ay dyan na lang din sa right. Pero yung negative 8, since wala siyang letter, ilalagay ko dito sa kabila. Therefore, magiging positive 8 siya kasi tumawid siya sa equal sign. Pag tatawid yung isang term sa equal sign, mag-iiba yung sign. And then proceed with the usual addition. So, 2x is equal to 2 plus 8 is 10. And dapat yung variable lang yung matitira dito, tanggalin natin yung 2 by using the division property of equality. I-cancel na natin yan. So, you have now x equals 5, wherein 10 divided by 2 is 5, and that is now your final answer. Let's have the next example. The quantity 11 minus 2x plus 8 is equal to negative x plus 4. So, ganyan siya. Gaya ng ginawa natin kanina, lahat ng may variable sa left side ng equal sign, at lahat ng constant ay sa right side ng equal sign. So, ang ginagawa ko muna ay sinusulat ko yung equal sign. And then, ito na. Yung 11, since it is a constant, sa kabila siya. Pero, tatawid siya sa equal sign. So, meaning to say, magiging negative 11 siya. O, yung positive 11 naging negative 11. And then, next... Negative 2x, since it has a variable, dito lang siya sa left, so mag stay lang siya na ganyan. Next, positive 8. Siyempre, it is a constant, so ilalagay natin siya sa kabila at tatawid siya sa equal sign. So, magiging negative 8 siya sa kabila. Next, we have negative x. Again, it has a variable, so dapat sa left siya, pero nasa right siya, kaya tatawid siya ng equal sign, so magiging positive x siya. We have positive 4. It is a constant, and it is on the right side of the equal sign, so be it. Ganyan lang siya. And then proceed to the usual addition, so negative 2x plus x is negative x, and negative 11 minus 8 plus 4 is negative 15. Sis, ganyan siya. Tanggayin natin yung negative sign. 
cancel that part. Ang magtitira na lang ay x equals positive 15. Kasi negative 15 divided by negative 1 is positive 15. So, your final answer is x equals positive 15. Let us now proceed to our next lesson which is the solution of linear inequality in one variable. Kung kanina, linear equation, ngayon naman, linear inequality. So, dito na, papasok yung properties of inequality na ganyan. By the way, take note of this. If the symbol is less than or greater than, we use an open hole and we use open or close parentheses. If the symbol is lesser than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, we use close hole and open or close bracket. So let's have examples. The first example is x is lesser than 4 plus 3. So again, do the usual addition. So your answer is x lesser than 7. So what could be the numbers that are lesser than 7? So the possible values of x are those numbers lesser than 7. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, and so on and so forth. By set notation, our answer is x lesser than 7. But if you want to graph it, we use an open hole, place it in 7, and then since lesser than, to the left yung direction. O, tignan nyo to. Kung saan nakapoint ito, dun din papunta yung arrow. Yun. Yun yung technique. Kung ano yung tinuturo niya dito, dun din papunta yung arrow. So, lahat ng numbers na lesser than 7 ay 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and so on and so forth. Hindi kasali yung 7. At kung interval notation naman siya, it is written this way. Since open hole siya, parenthesis lang siya, 7. And then, to the negative infinity. Pagpapuntang left, negative infinity. Pero pagpapuntang right, positive infinity. But since our solution here is going to the left, we use negative infinity. Next example. Negative 3n greater than 6. So, negative 3n is greater than 6 and we have to eliminate the numerical coefficient. So, we have to divide both sides by negative 3. But in here, we have a special case. Kasi, ito yung divide tayo dito yung negative number. The properties of inequality, no negative t divide mo, ag change jay direction that toy inequality symbol. So, probably, no negative t in divide mo, ag balin isunan nga lesser than. From greater than to lesser than. And then proceed with the usual division, cancel that one. So, n is lesser than 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2. Now, your answer in set notation is n lesser than negative 2. And then, using the graph, put an open hole in negative 2. And since it is pointing to the left, so the direction is to the left. So, the numbers lesser than negative 2 are negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, and so on and so forth. So, your interval notation is written this way. Open, close parenthesis, negative infinity, negative 2. So, let's have the third example. We have x over 2 is greater than 2 plus 1. By adding 2 plus 1, we have x over 2 is greater than 3. But since we have to eliminate the denominator there, we have to multiply both sides by 2. So that we can use the law of cancellation, cancel na yan. So magiging x na lang siya. Greater than 3 times 2 is 6. Our set notation is x greater than 6. And using the graph, we have to put an open hole in 6 directing to the 
right. So, yung arrow natin, papuntang right. So, the numbers greater than 6 are 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, until the positive infinity. So, hindi kasama yung 6. So, the interval notation now is from 6 to the positive infinity. So, let's have the last example for the inequalities. We have 8 minus 3x is greater than or equal to 2x minus 2. So, ganyan siya. Just like what we did in equation, lahat ng my variable ay to the left side of the symbol at lahat ng constant to the right side of the symbol. So, gawin na natin. We have negative 3x and then yung 2 tatawid siya sa kabila so magiging negative 2x siya. And then, copy the inequality sign and then yung negative 2 dyan lang siya at yung lilipat yung 8 magiging negative 8 na siya. Then, proceed with the operation. We have negative 5x is greater than or equal to negative 10. But we have to eliminate the numerical coefficient there para yung variable x lang yung matira. So, we have to do the division property of equality. We divide both sides by negative 5 but take note, negative yung dinidivide natin. Negative negative number. So, yung symbol niya, ganyan na. So, x is lesser than or equal to 2. Which is negative 10 divided by negative 5 is 2. So, your x notation now is x lesser than or equal to 2. And then, using the graph, you put a close hole above 2. Close hole na siya kasi may equal to na yung sign. And then, pointing to the left, ayan siya. And then, using the interval notation, ganyan na siya. Bracket na yung katabi ng 2. Going to the negative infinity. Gets nyo? So, kung gets nyo guys, it's your turn. Open your modules and do the activities assigned to you by your teacher. Thank you for watching and God bless you all. So that ends our lesson for today and I hope you learned something. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe and click the notification bell below for more updates and more videos. This is your teacher offering. Sign